Hey guys, I asked ChatGPT to top indicator strategy. So ChatGPT suggest 5 indicator for you. About know all step by step in this video. This trading strategy is a game changer. So you watch the till end this video. First of all we'll head over to the indicators tab and search for our first indicator, which is the scalp in 30 pips. Add it to your chart. Now go to the settings of this indicator and change the stochastic D length from 6 to 7, the stochastic smoothing from 6 to 8, the DMI length from 20 to 23, and the stolen length from 5 to 7. Then we go to style and here we uncheck the plot line because we don't need it as well as the DMI stochastic, and everything except the signals and the key and day lines. Then we have the setup for this indicator. This indicator will give us awesome buy and sell signals. As you can see here, we have this awesome buy signal scalp in this huge move to the upside. It's based on this stochastic oscillator. We have here the K and D line. What I also like about this indicator is that it takes the trend into account. It looks at the DMI indicator, which is the direction movement index, and it will give us the signals also based on the trend. But nevertheless, I would add another momentum indicator to check the strength of the trend. You go to the indicators tab and type in momentum histogram. And as you can see here, we have MAMTF momentum histogram by DMAN 103. So you add it to your chart. And what I like about this indicator is the fact that it shows us the momentum in the higher time frames okay. It appears that some adjustments may need to be made to the settings in order to achieve the desired outcome. You go to the settings of the indicator and first you change the moving average type from SMMA to TMA and the fast length to 5, the slow length from 12 to 15. Here we're going to use a user-defined time frame. And in this case here, I will use the daily. So you must check in your strategy what fits best for you. But since I'm here on the 4 hour, I will use the daily. And then you click OK. And before we go to the next indicator, let me give you some explanation again on how we're going to use this indicator. So basically, this histogram here will be used for to confirm our signals. We are here trying to catch trend reversals again based on this stochastic oscillator. And for this example here, the buy signal, as you can see, we can also see here in the histogram that the trend is reverting because we are going from an intense red color through a lighter red color, meaning that the bearish strength is losing strength. And in this case here, we are confirming our long position that we could take. But to make this strategy more effective, we will need two more indicators. So go to the indicators tab again. Now type in the search volume, supply and demand zones. And then as you can see here, we have this awesome indicator by heavy 91. You add it to your chart. This awesome indicator will draw us supply and demand zones based on calculated liquidity in the market. We have to change some settings here, so go to the settings of this indicator. Here you change the length from 5 to 6, the threshold pick volume from 15 to 17, and then we decrease the mid volume to 9, as well as the threshold small volume to 4, go to style section and plot change circles to lines, all plot change same. And then you click OK button. This indicator will be used to detect areas of supply and demand based on volume. As you can see here, we have this area of supply. And if we were to take a long position from here, I would definitely consider it as my first target should take profit. And it's also important that you look back in the price to draw your supply and demand zones. So if we do that here, you can see that we have a lot of supply in demand zones. And you, of course, have to check if it makes sense based on the price action. So we will not only look at the indicator, but also see where do we have some price rejections here. So like in this place, as you can see, we have this supply zone here that is proposed by the indicator. And then we can see here this price rejection. So if we go in and draw a rectangle here, you will see that it does make sense to consider it as our supply zone. And based on this, it's always important to follow some rules here. 
So if we see that we have a zone here that is relevant, we will wait for the price to break above this zone before we take a buy position. As you can see here, we get the signal. I wouldn't recommend you to take a long position as long as the price is moving inside of this zone. And then we have the other supply zone that we can use to take profit. Another interesting indicator that you can use to confirm the validity of this zone is if you go to the tab and search for volume profile. Here on the technicals, you will see a lot of volume profile indicators. The one that I like to use for this case here is the visible range volume profile. You need a premium account to use this indicator, but if you want to try it for free, you can use the link to trading view that I posted in this video description. Now, add this indicator to your chart. Then we need to change some settings here as well. So you go to the settings and under inputs, you change the row size from 24 to 26 and then the value area volume from 70 to 72. And then you click OK. And I will show you another indicator in the end of the video. But first, let me explain you how to use the volume profile in your chart. As you can see here, this indicator draws a histogram on the price actions showing the volume on each price level. And the way I would use it is just to confirm the supply and demand zones that we get from the other indicator. So as you can see here, we have the supply zone from the indicator and the volume profile is showing us that we have a high volume in this area, confirming therefore that we have here a relevant level of supply. It's also worth mentioning that this volume profile here is always adapting when I am moving the chart around. So if I zoom in in the chart, for example, you will see that the volume profile will show other areas that are more relevant for this specific section here that I'm seeing. So one last indicator I would like to show you. If you go to the indicators tab and look for swing high, low, support, and resistance. As you can see here, we have swing high, low, support, and resistance by Pattern Smart, which is a very well recognized indicator with more than 26,000 likes. You add it to your chart and this indicator will be very useful for us because it draws support and resistance levels based on swing highs and swing lows. It makes your life a lot easier, especially if you are into scalping and you want to, for example, enter a buy position right here. You can already see that there is a swing low here. If you like this video hit the like button then be sure to subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any of our new latest strategy. That's it for the video, guys see you soon. Thanks for watching our video.